during lockdown, I'd, I'd been writing a lot and producing a lot. I'm doing an album for a singer called Misha as well um, and working with a few other people. But from a personal point of view, I'd got a track that I'd done with Misha that I'd made during lockdown. And as soon as it was safe to socialise, I was like, right, I want you in my studio. I want to get this down. I've got this idea for a track, et cetera, et cetera. That was developed really quickly, the track Red Wine, we released on Spotify. And then we got in touch with a company called ENC Productions. Um, and I've said I'm really keen for them to film a music video for me. Um, so the Red Wine music video, I kind of had this idea in my head that, you know, and I sat down with ENC and we sort of said, well, think about, you know, how do we want to do this? Obviously, we don't want to throw a massive budget at it but also we want it to look clean, look sharp, et cetera, et cetera. So we kind of had this concept of using like green screen and all that kind of thing. I'd gone to college and done media film and moving image. So music videos are something I'd got experience with, but in a way it was really nice because ENC just took charge of it. They, you know, they sort of brought my dreams to life and then we produced this video and then with very little social media presence on YouTube, it, it quickly escalated to like 2.4, 2.3 thousand views, which was, which was really good. And we actually filmed it in the cellar of a Victorian house in Broom Hill just cramped in. I remember setting up with the ENC, all the green screens and everything and thinking about, you know, how are we gonna, how are we gonna make this wonderful image in the cellar of this Victorian house? And yeah, we did, we got it, so yeah, excellent.